The Oxford English Dictionary defines the term as a technology that superimposes a computer-generated image on a user's view of the real world, thus providing a composite view. We see this today with games available on app stores such as Pokemon Go and Stack R. Also with applications such as IKEA Place, where one can place virtual furniture from the online IKEA catalog into their home before buying, to see how it looks and fits. Aang researchers, Thomas Codell and David Mazzell are widely regarded as the men who coined the phrase augmented reality in 1992. When the first industrial use of R was designed at Boeing for the assembly of aircraft parts. Numerous mentions in the paper published by Codell and Mizzell reference earlier designs but none stand out more than Ivan Sutherland, who, in the proceedings of IFIP 1965, wrote The Ultimate Display. Something more akin to Star Trek's holodeck, where a computer could control the existence of matter within that room. From 1966 on, at MIT's Lincoln Lab Sutherland and his colleagues worked on projects relating to head-mounted displays. Then, again in Proceedings of IFIP 1968, Sutherland wrote a head-mounted three-dimensional display which has been commonly referred to as the Sword of Damocles. A head-mounted display so heavy it had to be suspended from the ceiling. No doubt this is regarded as one of the first augmented, virtual reality machines, but can we go back even further? To find a working model we only need to go back slightly further. In 1962 Morton Helig, a filmmaker, filed a patent for what was known as the Sensorama Simulator, an apparatus to stimulate the senses of an individual to simulate an actual experience realistically. Although its original application was for entertainment, providing the user a simulated experience of driving through the streets of Brooklyn on a motorbike. According to his patent, he envisioned its eventual use to be for teaching and training in jobs and environments that might otherwise cause the trainees harm, such as military training. Unfortunately, the device never succeeded past the prototype stage. If we look back even further in the century can we find any more examples of the idea of augmented reality? before its attempted application? There is one such example that is widely regarded as the first known mention of augmented reality. L. Frank Baum, in 1901 wrote a short story called The Master Key and it appear a set of spectacles, electrical in nature, that can show the wearer the nature of one's character, by showing a letter on people's foreheads to the user. Keeping in line with the now standard definition of what we call augmented reality this definitely fits the bill. In the short story introduction Baum wrote, These things are quite improbable, to be sure, but are they impossible? Now we know they aren't. 